Hey guys, welcome to day 21 of the 28 days data science AI and AI challenge. Today I'm going to work on or show you a code around how to detect skin cancer with the help of CNN, right? I've already done one level of code yesterday, which I'm going to put forward the link here. Okay. If you, if you or you can find in the description also. Okay. So we have done the code, but there were a few issues which I'm going to highlight or discuss today. Okay. So I've created a very quick slide around it to explain what are the things you need to know before we go to the code side. Okay. So if you find any issue in any of the information, what I've shared today, you can put forward me a, a email here, or you can also put in the comment section also, or if you have anything which you'd like to share, please put forward the feedback there. Okay. So melanoma which is also a biological name for the skin cancer because it is very difficult to identify or detect with the help of manual process let's we'll, we'll try to do it with the help of the cnn code at the same time if it's if it is done earlier the the chances that the person would might survive more is very very high so let's let's try to use cnn code for that if you find the frequency of this video is a bit slow you can also increase the video speed from 2 to 1.5x okay Okay, so these are the various images what I have. I have randomly selected nine images for, for your for your view, right? And there are all images are not of skin cancer. The, the the skin cancer is only one, the melanoma one, melanoma characteristics one. Okay, so melanoma is nothing but the biological name of for the skin cancer. So we based on the various 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 kind of skin issues, we have to identify which one is skin cancer. Okay, let's go ahead. So when we are working with images in neural network, the best model to use is CNN, right? So I put forward the CNN architecture, but at the same time, if you want to know more about CNN, please go ahead in the playlist. I have explained the CNN very in detail level. Okay, so very quickly, CNN would have two uh, would have three layers: something called convolution, pooling and a normal fully connected layer. Okay, convolution technically extracts the important features from the images. Max pooling tries to extract the important important features within the extracted features and then it sends to the fully connected layer which is nothing but the ANA. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly and uh, share with you what is the life cycle of a data project or a deep learning kind of project which is understanding the problem, extract the data, transformation, building, model evaluation, deployment, governance and communication. Okay, so when we are doing evaluation, we try to understand based on the training and the validation data set, are they coming closer to each other? If they, if they are not closely coming closer, like for example, plus minus 5% 5, 5 difference, it means there is an issue. It can be an overfitting or underfit kind of issue. So we had actually experienced that. Please go ahead and look in that video, the, part, the yesterday's video. So we are trying to resolve it with the help of some activity which are going to, I'm going to show you today. Okay, so it is majorly the part of model evaluation which I'm trying to showcase you today. Okay, so technically this is the first run which I have showed you in the yesterday's code. Okay, I'm going to show you today also. If you see right, my accuracy score uh, for my training data set is somewhere around 85% and my for test testing one is somewhere around 50% which is way apart from each other. Okay, I have done few activities around it for example something called regularization you can say l2 regularization so based on that if you see my scores have improved has came somewhere around to 50 50 to 55 percent closer to each other but after that i have also did some one more level of activity called data augmentation which i'm going to showcase you after that if you see there's a quick jump there's a very good jump in the accuracy as well as the very good dip in my loss which is perfect okay i'll show you how i did it okay yes so coming here so basically i've done the data pre-processing the image resizing normalization train plus play which is normal which you have seen in the yesterday's code the important thing what i have done is data augmentation what is data augmentation technically what happens if we don't have enough images of the given of, of the given uh, label or something like that right so we try to take different different angle of that image we try to rotate change the contrast broad flip it and try to create more images with the with the help of the current image okay that process is called it augmentation l2 regularization is technically what happens is that so 
if you allow deep learning to keep keep on learning right there's a very good chance it will start generalizing the whole stuff and tries and it would work very good in the training data set might might not work very, very good in the validation so regularization is technically giving a penalty to, to that so that it can generalize its its output or and then generalize is uh the pattern right so i'll i'll show you how i did it okay if you have any question i'm happy to share okay early stopping is more or less if something is not improving from any point of time please stop it it's it is something like you can give a metaphor of you cannot overcook the food because if you overcook the food the whole cook uh, the whole food is spoiled right so it it makes sure that it doesn't do that okay so after you understand the code so basically i'm going to show you the code after this after you understand the code i would request you to go ahead and run at your own own side because i'm running in google collab it's very very easy you have to just need a google collab you have to just go to google collab and just uh, if you click on the google collab link which i'm going to put forward in description again still you can start running from there itself right anywhere you find any issue please let me know i'm happy to understand what kind of issue can be encountered right and make sure that you don't stop here you go ahead and try to do other kind of use cases correct if you still need the code in uh um, I, if you need the link directly you can message me in the comment box your email address i will message you the link or the whole code what i have created correct and last request would be if you want any other kind of examples to be narrated or explained please send me the data set i'm happy to do that or if you want if you have any kind of link which you like to share any problems which you like to share put put forward in the feedback i'm happy to take it forward and try to look into it okay so let's jump into the code now okay of it so what i have done like every time i have divided the whole thing in different different cell and i have explained every cell based on the given title okay the first line talks about the different different platform where you can reach out to me okay the discord server the github the linkedin the youtube okay anywhere if you have any question don't shy please ask me the question okay so i'll go ahead with the with the things which i have already explained yesterday very quickly so i've taken the library i've brought the data set i've done one level of data modification or data transformation which is required okay i've taken the train test plate okay then i've visualized nine examples what i was showing in you in the slide and uh, the things which i have to technically categorize or technically identify is the melanoma which is the skin cancer okay and then i've built the cnn model very simple i've taken i have the input layer i have the convolution layer the max printing layer and the fully connected layer right if anybody would like to share why we have used softmax here as one of the activation function please let me know okay compile then i have compiled the the model i have taken 20 epochs okay and then i put forward the answer what i have got okay so i have this is my which in a visual manner the value that train the accuracy score and the loss okay if you see the accuracy the training and the training accuracy score and the validation accuracy score are way apart from each other so technically it's a very good example of overfitting okay so now i will explain you what are the things i have done to handle the overfitting okay so then the first step i have not touched the data i have not done any data augmentation i have only did l2 regularization i have only did dropout and early early draw early stop okay which I, if, I, if you see i've done here okay so basically when when i've given to flare the the flatted connected layer the fully connected layer so i have put forward that you have to do one level of like regularization called l2 so technically what l2 does it is it it adds a penalty to the propagation okay to any kind of weight if if the weight is too big right so what it does it, it encourages to give a smaller weight to reduce the overfitting by discouraging this kind of act, this kind of uh, activity of giving a higher weight so it does that at the same time i've also put one more fun one more function called dropout what does it what does what dropout does is technically technically it makes sure that not all the not all the neurons are activated right as we go to next and next layer randomly disables 40 neurons because what happens is that those neurons are, won't be helpful in the uh, training anymore so it makes sure that it keeps removing those kind of neurons okay so i've selected the number 40 percent but remember it is one of it, it is it is my number okay? so i have taken it as as per my experience you can also you can take you can try it out with a lower number and higher number too okay 
then I have done early stopping, which is something very simple. So if there is no improvement in the validation loss, so the epoch would start or stop automatically. It will wait for five epochs after the improvement, then it will stop automatically. Okay. Then I have put forward my compiled my model, and then I have again run the epoch, and then I have put forward the scores. If you see, the scores has improved very good, right? From the, the training and validation score being apart from each other very far from each other now it has came closer from somewhere on it is between 56 to 52 percent i would say it's a very good thing okay if my threshold was 50 just to just about 50 percent i this might get accepted but my threshold is not 50 percent i wanted something better so what i have done i'm i have done a data augmentation as i was explaining Taking the date, taking the given image in a different different manner, different different angles. Okay, so the same image has been taken in a different different angle, and I've, now I'm going to use all those images in my training data set and see what what kind of thing can happen. Okay, so I've done again the same thing. Uh, I've technically now I've taken a regu regularized kind of CNN uh, sequential network, right? Then I've created the classes for that. I went ahead. And put forward the classes, the train test classes. Now I've again, uh, again modeled it, again recompiled it. Okay, it would, it is going to take some time because now we have more data to train, right? But if you see the the result, what I have got after doing data augmentation and L2 regularization, the dropout, the early stop, everything, okay, it has improved tremendously my scores have improved tremendously so my true scores now right now for training and training and validation are somewhere around 75 percent the last one what i can see is 78 percent right which is fantastic i would say so this is what i have done till here right if you have any question happy to look into those questions put forward those questions in the comment box okay i'm going to give this link in the description but if you want this link in your email address put forward your email address in the comment section i, I will give you this link upfrontly thank you guys